Hello, 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 and welcome back to the UK Inspired Rail Network. This is the completion of the other bit of Bedford and the Marston Vale line. This is not going to be a time lapse simply because I started recording it and building it. However, after doing a couple of cab ride recordings, I forgot to put autosave on. Then I had a weird crash and I can't work out why it crashed. It was very odd and it wasn't like a normal sort of crash I normally get, which is very strange. And I think it was something to do with when I was placing fences. I had a weird internal error and I wasn't sure what it was. But I seem to have fixed it by messing about with a few things and removing a few bits and bobs. So I seem to have sorted it out. But anyway, so what I thought I would do is, is showcase you what I've done by completing the Marston Vale line and then we will jump straight into a cab ride. How does that sound? So here we are, a very, very big Bedford, a lot bigger than I thought I'd make it, even though it's still very tight and obviously a lot bigger in real life, according to Google Maps and Open Rail anyway. I so we in the last episode we we started off by detailing this area and then I soon realized I probably should have carried on and done this area as well I'm still not entirely happy with these um as I get a bit of lag as I spin around too quickly wow there we go I've just loaded the game so that's probably why it's done that I I've put these here as kind of placeholders more than anything if you're wondering what these are they seem to they appear to be some sort of water treatment forward slash water storage sewage maybe i'm not really sure the circular things with water they're just outside bedford station there's a couple of them i'm not even sure looking at google maps whether they're still in use or not to be honest with you i have no idea but anyway i put them there as placeholders they look ugly as sin I wanted something there. So I'm going to find something. I've got two options. I could either get the building blocks thing, moddy. There's a mod where you can just build things and make a little circle. Or I could find something that might fit in there as a little circle. The other option is, is I cover it up and replace it with something completely different that just looks like there's something there. Maybe some like wind turbines or something. Have something like that going on here. Something like that. Um, because I'm not going to go down the warehouse route, definitely. Because I've done that to death. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, there's a lot of industrial areas surrounding a lot of railways in the uk i tend to see that but i feel like i'm on the rinse and repeat mode with that sometimes and i feel like i'm just overdoing it so especially with bedford i've apart from a few areas here and adding a few little warehouse buildings i've i've tried to sort of stay clear of those so much especially when i did sort of derft and i did some other areas around london and around around birmingham as well i've placed a lot of sort of industrial areas and a lot of warehouses so i tried to steer clear from it what i did manage to fit in is i managed to fit in this um depot here um which was quite nice i forgot i had this depot and i had to reactivate it in my mod list and what i've done is i have dropped some um thameslink is it three two i think they're i'm not sure no i don't think they're even three two ones i'm not sure what ones these are i can't see that is that a four or something i can't see it it's kind of blurred out four four is that a five six eight i think and i've managed to find those in my asset list um just to pop in there one thing i'm not happy about with these is how close these are i couldn't get them if you if we pause the game and let's go and have a look at a train we should see one somewhere i swear i just see one if, i did just see a hst go past here we go uh, the distance like the actual trains that there's you know you got the walkway between the carriages it's kind of like that but no matter where i place these carriages whether i've put them the right way around but i tried all different orientations and everything and i couldn't so we've ended up with them quite squashed together there but i just thought i mean you could you, you'll see sort of the a little bit at the top of the train there as you go past maybe in a cab ride but not too much here i just plop some different assets in to make this look it kind of looks like there's a lot of just I don't know what it is there's a lot of sort of scrap going on here so i just placed a few bits and bobs that i found in my asset list just to make it look a little bit detailed the wall around this is the um the retaining wall that comes with the what does it come with the freestyle train station mod it is the retaining mod so what i did is i i placed a bit of track up alongside this butted it up pulled it away a little bit straighter here and ran it here and then reconnected it here and then ran it along this side as well and then you're going to ask me how i got this curve 
Now, the simple answer is I use the um, build anyway mod to create the worst curve ever. And all it is, then I placed the waypoints for the wall around it afterwards and deleted the track. And that created this wall. In real life, this wall kind of ends here and it's kind of square here and then back. But I kind of worked with the shape that I'd created with the track around it anyway. Um, it's, it, this would be quite helpful. It's become a great sort of launching pad for the trains now onto this Midland main line, which is quite cool. So I thought I'd add that. I added some finishing touches to the bridge. Obviously, added this, uh, added the ends to the bridge just to finish them off so they look like they are actually part of the world and none of it's not disconnected. Um, <clears throat> uh, Bedford St. John's Station is here. It's a single track station. And then we have these splits here where the trains can pass and the passing lines then come into effect here as they head down to Woven Sands. I've... The majority of this area is a few sort of uh, shops here. I've just scattered a load of sort of views and PC worlds all bundled up together just to make it look a bit busier. I was toying with the idea of spawning a um, residential only zone, but in the end, I ended up going to town and I think I got a bit carried away with the housing assets. I think mainly because I think it looked better from cab side view. I probably didn't have to put the houses in here as we have an auto save. Well, hey, an autosave, Julian. Well done. I probably didn't have to put the houses here, if I'm honest. But when I zoomed out, it just looked bare. So I thought, no, stick with it. Get the housing going. I've used a mixture of two different types of houses. We've got some normal sort of plain sort of asset houses around the outside here. As we're going round, I've also added a very wonky fence either side of the track. Um... <laughs> <laughs> just to add you know so people can't get on the track i guess um and then we have some more details sort of i guess more london sort of style victorian sort of style housing in the middle just to mix it up a little bit i turned all the chimneys off um just to save some ram and some performance my machine is starting to struggle now and i to the point where i really wanted to get city skylines to literally no point in me buying it in the state it's in right now because it will just be really disappointing experience for me so i'm gonna wait we're saving up to get the new machine i want to uh, get on the machine i want to get on some city skylines too i also want to this give this game a proper run for its money with all the mods i run on a really high spec machine as well it's time i've had this one for about six years this this machine now it's time for an upgrade and i really want to get in city skylines too and obviously you all know and i've said it a million times flight simulator I've been practicing on the side a little bit, getting quite good. I'm toying with the idea of getting involved in the VAT sim and getting involved on the towers and the flight controller and maybe taking some of the... I think they do some sort of like lessons or courses on that within the game or within the VAT sim community. And I'd really like to give that a shot because I think if I get involved in that and immerse myself in that a little bit, I'll, I'll understand it a little bit better. I know close to nothing about flying but it's always interested me and it's another form of transport obviously i'd like to find out a little bit more so i would like to get my immerse myself in that a little bit more so you might find in the future there's a few things i'm in an um in an ring i'm sort of toying with the idea of going back to twitch for some live streams the link is at dguk.tv if you want to follow me over on twitch i haven't streamed on twitch for about a year i haven't live streamed at all for about a year but i am toying with the fact toying with the idea of doing the flight sim stuff as a live stream and then having some supplementary sort of stuff going on on this channel as well that, that kind of complements it as well so if you want to give me a follow on twitch it's go to dguk.tv and then the links there it is twitch.tv forward slash dguk but i thought i'd like to i thought i'd plug the old home site as well so it's got a little bit about me on there as well and what i've been up to for the last sort of three or four years so anyway there's that there's also links to the merch and the spotify links on there as well for the stream of music so if you can follow me on that as well that'd be awesome a couple of listens all helps all helps towards that new pc build um out to my uh, a massive shout out to my patreons and youtube members as well that have decided to join and support me directly as well uh, financially that's been amazing all that money all that support is going straight into the new build the new pc build so i really 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 appreciate that thank you and as your reward obviously what i'm doing is i'm re releasing these videos extra early anyway i don't know why i got on a tangent there about my stuff but you gotta plug yourself right so i'm plugging myself there you go so what we did is we 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 did a you know it's a representation the space is different so i've done different you'll get the idea if you ever looked at google maps and look you'll get the idea where i'm coming from here 
where I've sort of placed the houses and trees. It's kind of not really the same, but it's kind of the same and a little bit of representation. There's some sort of warehouse works outside Bed Bedford St. John. So I just stuck one of these here. Now, if we have any need for delivery, we'll make use of this at some point. But at the moment, it's just kind of bare. We have got people. I added this doesn't exist, this path. But I wanted some sort of access to this station for the people living here. Not all the houses uh, have population activated, only some of them. Um, simply to save resources again, but some of them do. So we have some people using this station. They will walk between here and here. That is quite untidy. I did put this path in really quickly, so I might delete this and rearrange it a little bit better because that actually looks quite ugly, that path. Um, car park wise, I've just, I, I bit the bullet. Oh, look, there's a bird that keeps sliding the screen. <laughs> and I stuck it out and placed a load of assets uh, of cars, parks. So the car parks look busy. The actual car parks on Google Maps do look reasonably busy around here. So I'm assuming this is uh, a cheeky station to people to avoid this if they are using this line, that they rather park over here and use this station if they're going down to Bletchley. So I'm assuming that's why these car parks are well used. There's a couple of shops as I said, houses. Now, there is an industrial state here. I found this really quite um, interesting looking at this overhead. Because obviously, we've got this here. I have I've, I think I've aptly, aptly named this the Thameslink uh, Bedford Depot. Um, but then we have a school. And then we have a warehouse. So I just dropped a uh, UPS warehouse here. Again, whether it get you, gets used in the future is... Um, your, your guess is as good as mine with that. I'm not really sure. Plopped a few more cars here. Look at those. Look at those. Just to make it look a bit populated and a bit busier. And then a couple more shops here. Mainly for sort of this pass through as we're going along the cab ride. It just looks a bit busier. There is a footbridge here. So I did include that. It's just something to sort of pass through. And I've also missed out a bit of ballast here on the old railway. It's not very good, is it? So we've got that. And then obviously what we've got is the Midland Main Line then crosses over our Marston Vale line. So we've got all that nice. I've just put some trees. Now, this is where I've had to go back into warehouse mode. What I did here, for a bit of fun, I wasn't sure what these warehouses were. So we turned them into a, a KFC so, <laughs> depot. So that's what this has become. I, I, I'm really sad that I can't find any lorry car parking spaces that are horizontal so these looked a little bit better and looked like they belonged um, i toyed with the idea of putting them sideways and lining up these with these but i in the end i just bit the bullet and stuck them like that but i thought that'd be quite nice because there is a couple of warehouses here there's a, a train here off to bedford by the looks of things bedford st john's first they look quite nice going along there these are getting very busy these little trains as well so i might have to double the capacity on them and then moving on, what I added some more warehouses here, and I think I've done a DHL at Amazon situation here. I'm not really sure, but it looks all right. There's a couple of warehouses. Now, what there is more between, between I think this is where we've got Woven Sands here. Between Woven Sands and Bedford St. John's, there are a couple more stations, and there's a couple more things going on. There's some more housing, there's some bits and bobs, but I kind of just wanted to incorporate as much as I could into this sort of between here and here and i didn't want it to all be sort of housing and a little bit of farmland and vice versa so i kind of mixed it up and i kind of went with there seems to be a reservoir some lakes outside his warehouse as well so i thought that'd look a bit better as something a little bit more interesting as we're passing through let's uh, press play on the game as well by the way um <clears throat> so i decided to go with some warehouses and farmland rather than the housing i think it looked better now this big forest here is meant to be uh bow brick hill woods i just i i i i, I, <laughs> I don't i think i just wanted to separate uh i think this is luton partway with um <laughs> with, with uh with a uh, what's it woven sand so i just thought well there's the woods in between so i'll just place a load of trees um it is a mess it's just stuck there just to separate the two and create some sort of separation so what we have is farmland here. If we zoom in here, I have put some extra long grass on these farms, on these fields. So when you are sort of on the train, you can look left and it is sort of a hill that blocks the view of absolute nothingness as well, slightly. And then we have some soiled, fil soiled fields as well in between and some trees just breaking it up and some hedging 
along the side, which I quite like. I'm really a big fan of this nice sort of untidy hedging. I'm not a big fan of overly tidy looking hedges because I, I would never believe that anything along the side of a railway would be that tidy in terms of the hedges. I've also got some, some crop bleed coming through my hedge here, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, there's some roads and some different crops here as we go through the roads. And then we hit Benny Stratford, where you've already seen before. We have a few far, a little farm here with some housing, some cows that seem to be just living their best life in this field. Some different fields here as well that I did earlier on. Months and months ago, I think I built these. So it's quite a nice coming back and connecting this all up. Just bringing these fences around, adding a few trees just to break up the sections. Um, all in all, that's about it, guys. Um, if there are any questions on what I did or any of the mods you spotted, let me know. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop into a cab ride. Obviously, what we're going to do is we're going to set off from Bletchley. We're going to come through. We'll go through Fenny Stratford and then Woven Sands and then Bedford, uh, St. John's and Bedford itself. We'll be riding on board. I'm not sure what class this train is. I'm not sure what we ended up putting on it, and I can't find one. So let me just fly through here. I know I've seen one somewhere around here. Is there one parked at Bedford? Oh, I think I just heard one. Yes, there we go. We'll be riding on board this cheeky little... Let me just old G. This cheeky little boy. Got 62 out of 62 passengers. I can't... What? What is this one? I can't remember. Class 150. So we'll be riding on board this class 150 we'll go out of bletchley and make our way what we'll do actually is we'll make our way outside of bletchley sidings because this does have also have a sidings route on it as well park up at bletchley load up and then head off and make our way to to bedford once again thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for all your support i really do appreciate it if you're lucky enough to watch this on Patreon ad-free and early access, as well as YouTube members early access, thank you very much, especially. I really do appreciate the support because you don't need to do that and you don't have to do that. And your support is very, very much appreciated. Sit back, enjoy the ride. And as always, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.